tough question, uh, but let's let's take a look at what FMA actually is and what FMA does, and perhaps we can go from there. So FMA has always been, for 50 years, a member-focused organization. It's been member-led, and I, I think that's important to keep in mind. It it has its areas of continuity, continuing to deliver good programs, good journal content, things of that nature, good placement activities, and so forth. But it has also adapted to change, as evidenced by the Doctoral Student Consortium and several other programs that have developed over the years. So. If we think about what FMA can do, it's probably best to ask what is FMA's purpose, what's its mission in life, and, and FMA's mission has pretty much been consistent for the past 50 years, and I would expect it to be relatively consistent for the next 50 years. So the idea of bringing academics and practitioners together, the idea of supporting quality research, the idea of supporting education and enhancing educational activities and the idea of providing professional opportunities for people to engage with one another to to improve their what they know what they do and so forth these are the things that has made FMA strong in the past and I think these are the things that will continue to make FMA strong in the future so what should FMA be doing in the future? What's the most meaningful thing it can do? It should continue its successes. It should leverage those successes and it should continue to be open to change, open to adaptation, to looking for better ways to do the things it does. And it should continue to do what it does best, which is be member-led and member-focused.